I'm Jim. We're here at the Kershaw ZT booth at SHOT Show 2019. We're going to look at some of the new Kershaw knives that we have in the lineup. So, first off, we have another cool knife. This is called the, the Reverb XL. So, we came up with a knife called the Reverb a couple of years ago. The original version was a little more of an angular knife. This is a larger and more streamlined version. So it has this nice sweeping, recurving blade and design. Um, we have an 8CR13 MOV blade. We have this nice groove here that allows you to open the blade one-handed. So you can actually get your thumb in there. It works nicely. Um, there's a G10 handle with a, with a gray G10, kind of a gray blue. And it has real carbon fiber overlaid onto that. Um, we have a gray PVD finish on both the blade and the back handle, frame lock. Uh, we have a deep carry pocket clip that wraps all the way around the back of the knife. And this knife has an MSRP of $44.99. Next up, this is a really cool new knife. This is part of what we call our starter series, which is kind of a value series of knives. So the nice thing about this is that our starters have traditionally been well, more textured, more aggressive looking, very black, dark finishes. And this is a very sleek, streamlined kind of design, almost more European. Uh, we have stainless steel handles, bead blast finish on the handles, black wash finish on the blade. We have a steel frame lock on the back, reversible pocket clip. And we have this really cool detail on the back spacer where it, instead of just being a thin one, it actually expands out to fill out some empty space in the handles. So this is called the Misdirect. Uh, it's a really cool new starter series knife, MSRP of $34.99. Okay, so this one is called the Decibel. This is another fun new design. It's actually a manual action knife. It's not assisted. It's got a really cool contemporary design to it. A gray PVD finish. Um, we have a blue trim ring on the pivot. Uh, and again, we have a matching blue backspacer. I don't know if you can see it on camera here, but we have a cool sound wave pattern on, on the pivot itself, giving a little bit of texture. So we also have a steel frame lock on the back side. We have a really cool design on that, that pocket clip. And this one has an MSRP of $59.99. Next up, we have something fun. This is called the Mixtape. It's a manual action knife. Um, this one's a little a little more affordable. This one's a $39.99 MSRP. Um, we have a uh, stonewash finish on the blade, the thumb disc for opening, again manual action. Uh, we have injection molded handles with a, uh, with a G G10 texture, gives it a little bit of grip. On the back side, again, we have, our, we have our, our injection molded handles. This is a really cool feature. The clip actually comes out from underneath the scale and flows up through that hole and fills it in. Uh, we have a liner lock for a locking mechanism. And as I said before, this one will be $39.99. This knife is called the Mixtape. So here's one I think is going to be really cool for this year. Once again, another manual. That's been a big theme for us this year. We've been really enjoying the manual knives. This one is very slim, very elegant. Um, we've been discovering a lot, and you'll see it through our lineup, that when you have the slimmer profile from top to bottom, it makes it very nice to carry, um, takes up a lot less room in your pocket. And so this one here is called the Epistle. Um, it's very sleek, it's very smooth, but it also has this textured insert that you may not be able to see very well, but it's, it's got a nice grip. So even though it has the smooth aluminum handles, you can put your thumb on that and get a good solid grip on it. Um, we have an inset liner lock construction, cool pocket clip and a cool detail where instead of putting the logo on the clip, we've actually put it on the handle where you see it through this little, this little opening in the clip. Um, so again, a nice, gentlemanly, easy to carry knife and with a $44.99 MSRP. Then going the total opposite direction, this is a design by Les George. He's one of the knife makers we work with and Les has a, has a big military background. Um, and so he loves these, he loves vintage military knives. So this is based on a knife called the M3 trench knife that was actually used in World War II. So if you see, it's got something of a bayonet style grind. Um, we, have a, uh, we have a tapering handle that has these large grooves in it, reminiscent of the stacked leather handle that was on the M3 bayonet. Um, we have injection molded handles, again with that nice G10 texture to give it a little bit of grip. <coughs> Reversible deep carry pocket clip. 
all blacked out finish, and a manual action with an inset liner lock. This one will have an MSRP of $44.99 as well. So, now we have another design from Les George. This one is called the Innuendo. Uh, so, this knife actually is a good size, it's comfortable. Uh, it's a manual action with a thumb disc again. But the neat thing about this knife is that it's very, very slim. So in spite of being a little bigger knife, this also is really easy to carry. So we have bead blast finish on the handles, gray PVD on the blade. We have a stainless steel frame lock on the backside, reversible deep carry pocket clip, and some cool details in the pivot area. We have some big cutouts that go all the way through, fun kind of wagon wheel pivot. And this was an MSRP of $44.99 as well. Next up, we have a nice, sleek, kind of futuristic looking knife. This one is called the Oblivion. This one is speed safe assisted opening. It has a flipper mechanism as well. Um, it has a really neat, it's kind of an overlay, but it's actually inlaid into the handle. So this actually is becoming part of the speed safe pocket underneath. We have cool, we have cool uh, pivot collars around the pivot and also around the screws. These are all little aluminum parts. Uh, steel construction with a stainless steel frame lock on the back. We also have this really cool little uh, lock bar over travel stop that kind of matches up with what's going on on the front handle. Reversible deep carry pocket clip. And on the Oblivion, we'll have an MSRP of $59.99. Next up, we actually have another Les George design. This one is called the Seguin. This is a nice, this is a nice little knife. It's actually, it's a little beefier. It's nice to hold on to. Um, it has a gray PVD finish on the blade. Again, cool pivot details. And again, what's a little harder to see on camera is it has this radial pattern of grooves on the handle. And what's cool about these is they're actually deep enough that they give you a nice solid grip. So, and again, in spite of this being a fairly smooth handle, those grooves make it nice and grippy. On the back side, we have a, we have a steel frame lock. <laughs> we have a nice, slim, kind of elegant, deep carry pocket clip. And we have an MSRP of $59.99 on this knife. This next knife is one of my favorites that we have this year. One more Les George design. We've done a lot with Les this year. It's been a real productive year. So this is, this is called the Boilermaker. And this one has this really cool, what we call a brown wash finish. So it's actually a brown PVD uh, that's been stonewashed after the fact. And it gives it this really worn, vintage look. Almost, almost kind of, I'd almost call it like a rusty, patinaed kind of look, but it's not rusty, it's just brown. Um, so we have lots of fun details, stainless steel uh, frame lock. Again, we have nice deep carry pocket clip that wraps right around the inside of the handle. Um, on the front side, we have some cool details. The Kershaw logo is actually on the inside of the back handle, shown through this window. Some other cool details in the knife. It is speed safe assisted opening. Uh, it does have a flipper. And the MSRP on this knife is $59.99 as well. So that is the Boilermaker by Les George. So this one, again, going in a different direction. This is a Rick Hinderer design. Many of you have probably seen this before. It's called the Cinder. It's a manual action keychain knife. It has an inset liner lock, and it has this great texture pattern on the handle. But what's unique about this version is that these are solid copper handles. So it's, copper has become a trendy material in the knife industry. It's really fun. It allows you to take a knife like this where it starts out nice and shiny and then as, as time goes on it builds up a beautiful patina. It becomes very warm and has a glowing almost kind of finish. Um, this is solid copper. We're not, it's not just a coating or anything like that. Um, and the other nice thing is that because this knife is relatively small, you actually don't pay a lot of penalty for the weight. Copper is generally pretty heavy and being this small, it's really not that bad. We still have this nice keychain hole. We have a steel backspacer with a bottle opener. And the best part is that you get all this and that nice finish at old patina for $29.99. Then last but not least, we have the Antic. The Antic is kind of our anti-carambit, if you will. It's uh, got that carambit style loop on the back end that's great for putting your finger through. Gives you a four-fingered a four grip on the knife. It also is great for your key ring. Uh, we have a bottle opener integrated in there as well, so if, you're, if you want to have a nice beer, you can probably close the knife first, but you can pop a top with that. 
screwdriver in the end of the handle here. Uh, manual action. We have a blue PVD finish on the handles, pocket clip, and a, a stainless steel frame lock. And the MSRP on this knife is $29.99. So again, a nice little value piece, easy to carry, helps you open a drink. What more could you want? So that'll be it for our Kershaw import line. If you'd like to learn more about these, come see us at kershawknives.com.